Hey guys, this is Chris with iPhoneMVP.com and I'm just going to show a little demonstration of how I read my RSS feeds. I use Google Reader on my desktop and as well on the iPhone now and Google has their application here and you can launch all these different applications that they use and I can go to Reader but the thing is it doesn't read it in the window, it actually just brings up you know a browser window and I can just sit there and you know go into the browser and do that so why do I even need that Google app for this particular app and it's not a bad UI I mean I can see everything I see on my desktop and it's pretty damn fast you know I click on there and it tells me what I got and whatnot but and it here it actually lists it by you know what site I'm actually watching here so uh, we'll get back. I, I don't really like the whole being in the browser thing. I kind of like a standalone application that I can launch pretty quick. And I have one here that I believe I paid a dollar ninety nine for. It's called Bylines. And you click on that, and uh, you can walk, you can look at it in that view, or you can get your little landscape action going on, which is a little better for reading when you're actually reading. And so here you come up, and it's basically got what you saw in my other view there which are my different categories where you know I separate the categories I read by what my interests are um, gadgets and you click on one of the categories and it brings up a list of all the posts within that category and uh, as you can see up here it says crave the gadget blog and there's the posts that are unread by it and there's crunch gear and I can scroll my finger to the right there and mark that red or I can re or mark it back as unread like that you just click on it and it takes you into the actual post and you can read whatever you need to read and like you see here in landscape it's a pretty damn uh, clean looking read so you can get a lot read there um, but anyway I've got my folders and you know like I've got search feeds that search for uh, my last name <laughs> and uh, shows where I've been mentioned or whatever it's kind of a vanity search but I also search for Zune and HTC and Axum and a few other search terms as well just to see the off topic you know if something that really interests me if there was so it's being talked about somewhere that's not actually you know a website that I actually follow so then we've got iPhone here and I've got this App Store HQ RSS feed queued up and I think that's about all I've got on here I've got others that I follow and speaking of following uh, iPhoneMVP.com you can follow us on Twitter which I'd recommend because I will be having some giveaways eventually and you can follow us on RSS there's links at the top of iPhoneMVP.com to both of them and if you ever lose that URL you can go to uh, Mobility Sites channel page and I got a link to it there. So anyway, um, <clears throat> it's very simple to the point. It's a really good reader. I mean, it, it's really, I mean, I, who needs an e-reader, right? I did order a Barnes & Noble Nook, though. But it's for my wife, don't tell her. So, but anyway, this is a pretty neat little reader. And it costs a dollar ninety nine. It's called Byline, and uh, you can see there we've got little push notification things going on, or not really push. It's just indicating how many unreads I've got, like that right there. So anyway, my name is Chris from iPhoneMVP.com. Thanks for watching.